What is up, guys? It's Fat Leo, <clears throat> and this is the uh, week seven power rankings for Kakuna. Decided to make it after all. Um, yeah, let's let's begin. So uh, I'm gonna talk about a bit of movement and stuff. Um, last time I did this, everyone had two. To, uh, everyone had four or five battles. Now everyone's got seven done, so that's pretty good. Um, at the bottom, I have Robin at O and seven, and I think that's very reasonable. Uh, he was on five last time, and all he did since since last week is losing one over to North in a clean game and getting smacked by Ian's Cryogonal. I don't know. I don't know. It was really weird the way that Ian just in during the game against Ian. Ian just went into Cryogonal and was click, clicking freeze dry, and everything was dying. Everything was dying. So honestly, Robin did not impress. I'm leaving him at the bottom. He's the only one that a loss. Whatever. Uh, Mio, I'm actually not even going to talk about. He's 1-6, so I don't know what he was doing the last two weeks, but he didn't win, because he was 1-4 last time, so he's 1-6 and, and he dropped, so I'm not, I don't care. Next, we got Max at number 14. Uh, he's 2-5. and five. I don't think... Uh, I hope Max doesn't go down, because I think he... I don't think he's this bad. But anyway, he lost to Joao. Um, beat Daniel in a close game. Lost to Inverse, and then he got swept by uh, by Itzy as well, Corona. Or wait a second, one of those things can't be right. Hold on. Max. He went 1 and 3, so... I don't think he lost to Joao. So he beat Daniel. Uh, he beat Daniel, that was really nice. He, he brought in Mudsdale, and every time Don Fang came in, he brought in Mudsdale, and it would just set rocks. And every time Donphan tried to spin, he would take Rocky Helmet damage, and Mudsdale would get even more attacks. So that was really nicely done. And then he just controlled the whole momentum of that game with Mudsdale. Muds like every time Donphan came in, Mudsdale came in. So Daniel had to double every time. So and he didn't. So Max just controlled that momentum. He lost to Inverse, I think. Actually, I don't think he played Inverse. I think he played Joao, not Inverse. Yeah. Um, he lost to Joao, not Inverse. My bad. Uh, I can't remember what the Joao game with him is. I guess we'll talk about that when we um, when we get to Joao. Oh no, I remember. So it, Joao won a close game with uh, two Rock Week Pokemon at the end, I believe. Let me double check. He had Thunder. He had Tornadus. Okay, I have the replays right here, so let me just pull one up. Snowvers versus Morning Suns versus Max. Uh, how did this game end? This game ended on... Let me just double check. Skip to the end. Uh, yeah, so the, the game ended basically with, with Joao having two Rock Week Pokemon at the end. So there was a point in the game where Joao taunted Max's Registeel, so he couldn't get up rocks. And he stayed in, and he actually just sacked. Uh, he actually just sacked his Registeel, never got rocks up, and Joao was able to switch freely, unpressured by Max, and he took the game in the end. Um, he got swept by Volcarona, but it's his Volcarona. Uh, I'm sure it's it just put him in a position where... Where Volk just clicked Quiver Dance and won, so it's not a big deal. So we got Max at 2 and 5. Uh, he only won one game. I uh, beat Daniel pretty nicely. It was an impressive game against Daniel. Uh, next, we have Daniel at 14th at 3 and 4. Uh, I think I think he got he got flexed on by Inverse, man. He, like the, the plays. Daniel had a play. Okay. Alright, alright. So. Inverse burned Daniel's Dontan. Somehow, I don't know how it, or, or I don't know or care how he burned it, but he burned it. Then he hard switched, uh, he hard switched Gothitel into Leftovers Dontan. Then he clicked Taunt so that he couldn't roar, but uh, he clicked Earthquake. But Dontan clicked Earthquake. We only got 20% off because it's burned. Inverse clicks Energy Ball, uh, drops him to, al to almost dead range. And then the following turn, I don't know, I don't remember what, uh, I don't remember what, what's, what's, what Inverse, or what the other guy did, Daniel, but Inverse, um, killed Donphan, Victini comes in to threaten to revenge, right? And Inverse just stays in, on the U-turn, clicks HP ground, and just takes out Magnet, Magneton, or Magneton, I don't know who it was, but... He just did so much work against Daniel with uh, with Gothitelle. So Daniel just I don't know I don't know what his prep for Gothitelle was. He just seemed to just drop to it honestly. Um, so that's why he's at 13. Not very impressed 
Uh, I don't know if Daniel has... Did he actually win? I think he went 0-2, if I'm not mistaken. Daniel was 7th. He was 3-2, and two, minus 1. Now he's 3-4, and four, minus 3. So he lost two one o's. Wow. Damn. But still, he lost, so he's getting dropped. All right. Next we have number 12. I have Jared at number 12, right? <clears throat> um... He was, let's see, what was his record the previous time I made the power rankings? Jarrett was 2-3, and three, now he's 3-4. and four. So he went 1-1. One and one. Um, Against Joel, he had Scarf Kurum, and he killed Mega Beedrill turn 1. Turn 1, and he still lost the game 5-0. Uh, 4, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0. So he got the surprise kill on Beedrill, taking no damage on Kurum, and still lost the game 3-0. So uh, in, the mid, in the mid game, Joel just... Just tore this guy apart and he couldn't come back. He also beat me 0-4-0. Uh, I didn't watch the game. I don't care. It's honestly, like, it was probably a very clean, hacksless game. Everyone just hit what was in front of him. Nothing important happened. I don't know. Honestly, I just don't care. I don't care about Mio's games. Like, he went one and whatever. So, I'm sure the explanation is Mio played badly and Jared just clicked what was in front of him. Um... Now, if you guys, if if you guys are just gonna give me shit for for saying Mio played badly, like the guy's one and six, he's playing badly. It's just the truth. Don't make me walk on eggshells. Um, eleven. Uh, I've got Omega. Uh, Omega just replaced Azar, and he hasn't played a game. So Azar's record is four and three. Um, I have him underneath Ice because Omega replaced Azar, and Azar was not actually playing that well. Uh, so, I mean, sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. But he he hacks is like crazy. Like crazy. Azar is ridiculous, man. Uh, but he dropped. So I have Omega here. Um, I'll start ranking Omega once he starts playing games. So I'm not like, there's nothing to talk about. Uh, Ice. Three and four. Lost three out of Jake. It was like a comfortable win. Everyone just hit what was in front of him. Nothing important happened. Uh, a 1 0. He lost 1 0. Wait. Uh, he lost 1 0 to North. Yeah, 1 0. Super, super close 1 0 to North. And he beat Luis. So, um, Ice is playing well. Because I think Ice took over in a 1 and 2 record. Okay, what did Ice have last time? Uh, when Ice came in, he was 1 and 3. So he played two games. So he took over 0 and 2. So he went 1 and 1. And then he went 1 and 1 again, if I'm not mistaken. 0 and 2. So if ice is three and four, so ice went three and two overall. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm raising him up, and I think ice is gonna keep winning. He beat Luis, so he's he's beating all these guys. Like he lost he lost to Jake, and he lost to Narth, but he lose like he, it was a one zero against Narth. He beat Luis, lost to three against Jake, but well that's the thing, you know he's got an average performance. Beats some guys, loses to some guys, competes, so he's in the, around the middle. I think that makes sense. Next we have Joel at four and three plus seven. Now, <clears throat> I know you 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 might be thinking Joel is really low. Like you're putting Joel ninth at four and three. What are you talking about? So here's the thing: there are five guys, five of them, five, who are uh four and three. And I think you could make the case for any of those guys to be number five. I'll, I'll go over them all together. Um, I'm actually going to talk about Joel with the next page. So. I'm going to flip the page, and I will also still talk about Joel here. So these five guys, Jake, Inverse, Luis, Ian, Joel. There is very good reason to put any of these guys above the other. Um, I, I have it like this. I think I listed it by differential, because I think you could have any five of these guys. Like, these five guys can be in any order, honestly. So I'll, I'll, let, let's begin with, with Joel. So why could Joel be in any order? First of all, Joel was 3-1 in the previous Power Ranking video. Now he's 4-3, and three, but... His losses were one, hacks by Azar, and two, he lost on an absolute max roll to Narth. Now it's not, I don't, I don't complain about rolls. The other, like yesterday, I lost a bill um, on a game that decided on two rolls. It is what it is. Rolls happen, but keep in mind how unlucky you have to get to. to how do I want to say this? He did get the max, that is a fact. If he got any roll but the max, there was only one roll that saved North. And he got it against 
against Joel. So Joel lost one. I think it's totally legit. If you don't want to get if you don't want to get Oakwood by something, you have to invest enough so that the max roll is 99. At that point in the game, I'm sure it didn't matter because everything was worn down anyway. But still, had he not got that max roll, um, Joel would have taken that game and been at least four and two. And if he didn't get hacked by Azar, he'd be five and one. So, or six and one, right? Yeah, six and one. So I I could put him at two. Like I could have had him at two. You know what I mean? But he got hacked. Um, but just like that, I think he could be number five. Whatever. You could you could have moved. You could have had Joel higher. I if you, you think if you think Joel deserves higher, I would not argue with you. And we got Jake, right? So his first two losses, we know that it was because a hurricane misses. Um, and then he lost to. He had, he had a nice comfortable 3-0 win over Ice, but then he had that that game against Will where it was a 1-0. Um, it was super, super close. And and the one thing, I think, the one thing that was really, really weird, I'm going to find this play. Actually, I don't even need to find the play. Um, I know what happened. So, is, uh, who was it against? Jake. So, he comes in on, so Jake has Comfey. No, Will has, Jake has Comfey, right? Jake starts setting up. Will goes into uh hip out on he roars it out torn comes in at 70 after rocks right so torn's in on a healthy hip out on and clicks hurricane does like 35 i don't i like i have no clue why and will click stone edge takes out tornadoes or he does 66 and he gets taken out by the sand and i'm like and i was watching that play, i was like why why jake why so i i don't understand that and he lost one oh like a super super close game if I'm not mistaken, Hippowdon was the last Pokemon alive, too. So I, it was really weird. I, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, he got one nice win, one nice loss. So I, I, I love Jake at 8. I, where was he before? Jake was at 3. So he dropped to 8. Um, back when he was at 3, he was 3-2. and two. Now he's 4-3. and three. It's just, just... Jake could be... Again, these guys could be in any order. So Jake could be 5th or whatever. So... That's Jake. Um, not really much to talk about. Just lost one, one, lost one. Inverse has been playing really nicely, man. I think he went since the last video. Inverse has gone one and one. So he lost to Itzia because of a missed leak seed. So towards the end of the game, Itzia had uh, the grass snake thing superior, and he clicked leech seed on Glygar. And if he connected that leech seed, he won the game. Um, there was more stuff, there were more Pokemon left. I think it may have been like 2 on 2 at the end, but if he connected the Leech Seed, he 100% won the game. So Itzia took a win over this guy, over even, over Inverse with Hacks, and I already told you about the, the beautiful play against Daniel, that he just came in mid-game with got the down and just tore it up. So Inverse, um, but at 7th, I think he was about there the first Power Rankings video too. Inverse at 6th. So like, he dropped 1, whatever. He could be a little higher, it doesn't matter. We got Luis at four and three, right? So, um, he lost to. He also went one on one since last week, since last time I went the power rankings or not. Yeah, he went one on one. Uh, he beat Bill, so Bill was at the top. Bill was six and zero, oh, and then he beat him, and I and he actually beat him really comfortably. Um, the score, if I'm not mistaken, was one zero. Oh, but let me find this game actually. Will. The score was 1-0, I think, at the end of the game. But Will had nothing on his team to break Clef. He had to spend... He had to basically um, sack his Dragonite to get Iron Head damage off on, on Clef. Like, that was his only way to beat it. So, I mean, he, he killed the Clef, but... Oh, wait a second. He flinched that Clef? He actually, so Will actually uh, flinched this clef out, but um, he went in with fake out and and then he just took it, and then he took the game out. It was a yes, it was a 1-0. Luis won a 1-0, but there's just like no way he was breaking clef without losing his Dragonite. And if he lost his Dragonite, he lost the game, I think, pretty much. So like he he just had no. Luis still had Heliolisk and Mega Metachamp, so he still had all the threats, so if he had everything to deal with the rest of his team, so I as, as close as it was, 
it was a 1-0, but watching the replay, like at around turn 20, I was like, I think at around turn 20, I was like, Luis wins this, doesn't he? Because he was stalling Will so well, and he just could not break him. So when I was watching, when I first saw this replay at around turn 20, like I already knew that, that Luis won this game. So um, not a great performance by Will, but he's still... Uh, you know, he's still doing well. But Luis did beat him. The beating is 6-0, and oh guys. No joke. So that's why I've got Luis at number 6. Um, he lost to Ice. A pretty close one. Maybe it was 3-0. But there was one play where his Ferrothorn, which was one of the glue Pokemon on his team, got baited super hard by by uh, Inverse? Or by who? By Ice. So he went for... He had Magnazone in on Magneton, I believe. Or maybe it's the other way around. Anyway, Ice goes for HP Fire on the Ferrothorn. Oh, that's what it is. It was I think it was Magnazone on Pharaoh. Maybe it was Magneton, but it's one of those guys on Pharaoh. He clicks HP Fire um, as Pharaoh goes for Leech Seed, right? So he burns the Oka, and then he switches, because he went for Gyro Ball or something. I don't know what he, I don't know what he went for. Maybe he, he went... Oh, he went for Rocks. He went for Rocks, and he goes in it, and uh, he went into Deancey, so... Inverse, not inverse, geez. Um, ice, ice went into Deancey and baits the Gyro Ball to go hard into his uh, Magnezone again and HP Fire. Uh, the Pharaoh, now that it's got no Oka Berry, no Leech Seed, nothing. So really cleanly baited that Pharaoh and took it out. So I've got this guy number four, uh, or number six. If you think he belongs higher, okay. I'll accept that. And then we have Ian at 4 and 3, who's actually been... Ian is... I'm going to say Ian is the, actually the guy that absolutely deserves it the most here. Because Ian was 2 and 3. Eh. So he won both of his games, but... Well, so he went against Azar 1-0. Uh, I honestly don't even remember how that game went. I'm going to pull it up. Azar 1-0. Blackburn... What's Azar's team name? No, that's Joao. Jeez. Who am I looking for? Azar. Serene Grace? Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, okay. So this is... Uh... Mm, that's right. I remember this game. So yeah, they played a really, really, really long game. Azar had a lot of trouble breaking his Melodic. Eventually he had to sack Weavile. Not sack Weavile. Eventually he had to sack his um, Komo to beat to beat the Melodic. And then he was just out of out of stuff to beat the rest of his team. So they played a long, grueling game. A lot of switches. A lot of tactics. Um, yeah, Azar just basically lost a, like a long, drawn-out game to, to Ian. And... Then the next game, Ian. The next game was the one where Ian just completely destroyed Robin with Crygonal. Just came in with Crygonal, and the thing was just killing everything. Everything was dropping, man, to Crygonal. Uh, let's see, anything else? That's that's Ian. Yeah, so he went he went two and zero since the last power rankings video. So back then he was twelve, and now he's five. So pretty nice climb. Um. Yeah, so any of those guys, man, Ian, Luis, Inverse, Jake, and Joel, any of the guys that are 4-3, and three, they are all beating each other, so they could all bounce from, from 5 to 9. It doesn't matter. Next we have uh, the next page, the final four guys. We have Itzia, North, Joel, and Will. So uh, Itzia, he won week 6 on a Leech Seed Mist to Inverse, so... That should have been a loss, so he should be 4-3, and three, but he's not. He actually won, whatever. Um, and against Max, Max actually had this nice goal he said. He had SD, Iron Defense, Earthquake, and Aqua Tail. So if he... So Itzia would have... I, I think Itzia could have lost to, uh, to Max if Max didn't burn his Z-move on like a 65%... Uh, What's his face? Palisand. So there was Palisand. Palisand was at 65% or so. And Max burned a Z-move 
on it, and I'm, I'm like 99% sure Aquatel would have killed the 65% guy anyway. Uh, at plus two, because that's what he was. He set up SD on it, and then he went for the Aqua Tail. Now let me check that replay because I want to see if it revealed leftovers. Because maybe Max went for, maybe Max went for the Hydro Vortex because he didn't reveal an item, and he was afraid of him being Pasha Berry or something. So let me just pull up that game, Pachirisu uh, against Sue. Oh my God, why is it so impossible to find these games? Uh. So Max versus Itzia. Inverse Daniel. <sighs> Where is this game? Why is this stuff so hard to find? I wish these guys would just update their stuff, man. How hard is it to put a goddamn replay into the dock? Itzia versus Max. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. So what was Palisand at? Uh, so Palisand was at... He was at 64% and Max went for Hydro Vortex and he did not reveal the item but uh, Hydro Vortex revealed that he wasn't Pasho and I I think Max should have been able to recognize that he wasn't winning this game unless he got the plus unless he kept that Z move for the Gallade because uh, yeah unless he kept the Z move for the Gallade he should have recognized that and I don't know he, he burned Honestly, so with the set Max had, if he had just executed the set how he should have, Itzy had lost again. So Max had the prep. He just failed to execute during the game. So yeah, Itzy has been winning, but not really that convincingly. Um, so the way he ended up killing Scully is actually because he it dropped to 2%, and, or it dropped to 10% eventually, and he was able to finish it up with... Uh, Itzy was able to take him out with Aqua Jet. So... I don't know, man. It was a little weird. I, I thought, and, and like, I guess, I guess Azumarill didn't die to plus two Earthquake, so, I mean, maybe it did. Maybe it did, so, yeah, but in any case, um, yeah, I mean, I do have it set for it, so, he beat Max, and he, he definitely hacked, uh, hacked Inverse, um, hmm, he's fourth, whatever. I think it's fair, I guess. I don't like when guys hacks because it's hard to rank them because they won, but you know they kind of didn't deserve it. Uh, makes it a little difficult. Anyway, um, it's uh, next we got. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. So, um, Narath and Joao, I also think, are, are, are interchangeable. Um, Joao beat. You know what? Yeah, all right. Like, I, okay. So let's go over this. So Joao beat Joao and Narth both went three and zero since the last power rankings video, and they were both two and two if I'm not mistaken. Um, Narth two and two, Joao two and two. Yep. So they were both two and two, and they both went three and zero. Both of them had two legit losses, um, or two legit wins, and two and one kind of like a like a iffy win. So. Joao's if he win was when he played against uh, Azar, and his prep for Necrozma was basically Roar and stuff. But when Azar had Necrozma as last mon, he set up to plus four, plus four, and he was about to sweep. Only problem was, uh, Lejon built Joao's team, and I, I, I don't know if, Joao, if Lejon was trolling or something, but <clears throat> he... Uh, put prismatic laser or something on Necrozma, so whatever the recharge move was. So Necrozma's only the Necrozma psychic attacking move was a recharge move. So he clicks the recharge move, kills something. Hoopa comes in and kills it because he has to recharge. You know, uh, so he hits it on the turn it recharges, and he has to the next turn and he kills it. So Joao should have lost there. If I, I don't know what Lejon was doing, I hope it was I hope Lejon was trolling because that's that's a pretty good one. Um, and then he beat. Do I beat? He beat Robin clean win. It was only a one one over. It was whatever. It was clean. I'm sure I talked about it already. I don't remember what it is at this point. Um, the max game was pretty nice. How he won with the two rock weak Pokemon at the end, but he was able to to taunt his Reggie Gigas to prevent or uh, Reggie Steel to prevent him from ever getting rocks up. So two clean wins, one iffy win for Joel, and then North. Um, I I don't want to call this an iffy win. Uh, but it's an unlikely one, I guess. So he had a close win versus Ice, a 1-0, um, but it was, it was clean. You know, nothing, 
nothing big in it. And uh, a clean three versus Mio. But he beat he beat Joel on a max roll with Lanoon. So he got or I don't know with who, but he got a max roll on Joel with someone at the end of the game that won him the game. The max roll. And he, had he got any roll but that max roll, he was he was taking a loss. So so both Joao and and, and Narth have they both won games, but they could very easily have lost those two games. So um, they're interchangeable. Up to you. Like I don't know. Either one. Either one could be at the top or number two. Uh, and then finally, um, we have Will, who played a close one over Jake. And I think he did. I think he had some like he lost a Pokemon turn one or, or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's find out. Where's Will? He? Yeah, didn't he lose a Pokemon turn one? Yeah, exactly. So Will Will lost his Dragonite turn one to Jake on a really, really, really good play by, for Icicle Crash. So, and he won. And he still won 1-0. And he missed a Hydro on the Mambo. So he took... So Will beat Jake 1-0, having A, lost Dragonite turn one without doing anything. B, taking 90% on Starmie without doing anything. Well, I mean, eventually he killed Mamoswine, but like, Mamoswine switched in as a sack and he missed Hydro. And then he was Scarfed, so he was able to get 90% off. So, like a free 90 on Starmie, you know? And Will still won the game. Um, and the play, I think, I'm, t I'm telling you, I think the play that got him back in the game was when Jake hurricaned the Hippowdon and lost his tornadoes I, like that's what brought him back in the game i don't i don't get that play I, like not at all um but you know eventually at the end will was able to clutch it out hip out on remaining and beat jake in a tight 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 one -oh game so um and the final game is his uh loss to louise which i already talked about he basically got stalled he just he got stalled <laughs> He got stalled. He wasn't breaking anything. He wasn't breaking Clef. He lost pretty comfortably. I think it was a comfortable loss. One O's can be comfortable. And I did not. I saw it. I knew it. I knew at turn twenty we lost the game because he just could not break anything. So nice loss to Luis. Um, you know, solid win against Jake. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's that. Will's six and one. Why do I? Why does Will say four and three? Okay, that's supposed to say six and one. I don't know why it says four and three. Um, no wait, maybe I can change it. Let's see how quickly I can possibly do this. Uh, how quickly can I change this? Six and six and one. Cool. Um, all right. Export. Save for web. Mm, what did I name this? Uh, pictures, videos. What the hell did I name this anyway? KPRP4. KPR. KPR2P4. Okay. There you go. Alright, check it out. Check it out. I'm gonna fix this right now. Page 4. Delete. Uh, I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I am. So I'm gonna add P4. Let's see. You guys might not see anything, so it might literally be just me talking like this. But here you go. There you go. There's some live editing. There you go. Will is six and one, as it should be. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching these um, power rankings, guys. That leave out.